Hello, love and light to you. Just a quick video, just to uh, make you more aware that um, when you're buying crystals and you know a lot of um, stones that you buy for spiritual or psychic development and what have you, they're not always what they seem. For instance, here is a piece of malachite. Beautiful. Look at the marking. Okay, here is a piece of malachite. Again, beautiful marking. What is the difference? Apart from this one's in a point. The difference is this one is real. It's a real stone. You can feel how cold it is. If you tune in, you can feel the vibrations. You know that that's a real stone. This one. You feel it, it feels almost warm, and it has like a synthetic, almost plasticky feel to it, even though it is a stone, all right? The problem is, they're so mass produced, and spiritual stuff like this is, um, it's becoming ever so more popular. Everybody nowadays, if they break wind, they're automatically a medium. Um, they're automatically a psychic. So you've got to have the best tools for that. Well, I'm all for anybody learning anything to develop or advance themselves in a certain way. But it's nice to know if you're going to order crystals that you're getting the right thing for the right job and, of course, what you're paying for. Here's another instance. Um, here. Ugh. This is a hematite bracelet, okay? Here is a piece of metal. If I put that on there, give that a good shake. Ooh, yeah. It's not coming off because it's magnetic hematite. Um, here is supposed to be magnetic hematite. There. It's no good. Okay, so it probably... It is a stone, it might be onyx, it might be um, a little bit obsidian maybe, because it's got that silvery sheen to it. But when they're advertised as hematite, magnetic hematite, then again, you want what you've ordered, right? So just bear that in mind, that um, a lot of crystals are um, mass produced and they're possibly no more spiritual or psychically inept than your average piece of stone that you've got from your drive all right so just bear in mind and a lot of colored crystals like uh, turquoise blue agate these are very mass produced because they're not real again they're dyed and um, again if you're using this these tools because they are a tool to many people for healing and um, what have you I, you want the right tool for the right job so if you need a crystal for healing a particular piece of amber or citrine or something like that then just bear in mind that you might as well put those to the side and just buy amethyst because citrine and amber are amethyst yeah they're heat treated that's okay because the heating process does bring out the other properties that are in um, in these things so and crystals so that's okay but it's normal stones like this now that has no properties because it has a synthetic it's made but it's false advertising when you want a certain crystal for a certain job and you're paying for it and you're not getting that thing so just bear in mind a lot of blue crystals are dyed so my advice to you if you have um, a couple of real pieces have a little feel put it in your pocket and have a little feel before you go and buy some extra say you went to crystal shop and you want to buy some tumble stones or something like that take a piece that you have feel what how it feels like feel the weight 
in it because a lot of synth synthetic ugh, I couldn't get the words out a lot of synthetic crystals don't have the weight to it they look the same they're about the same size this one weighs three times as heavy as that now if you're using crystals for <coughs> excuse me if you're using crystals for um, pendulum work then you can use your grandfather's teeth on a piece of string for pendulum work it, it, that doesn't matter but if you're using it again for healing or psychic development or even spiritual development and then you want to make sure that it's not a synthetic thing and you are getting what you originally asked for all right so just bear that in mind turquoise very very obviously dyed and some of them are very badly dyed and you can tell the difference from a mile away but if you can't tell the difference just by eye because these the marbling in them they they look identical but if you can't see by eye or you're not used to how the crystals really look then do it by feel get two pieces put them in each hand and have a feel you'll get the vibrations of one if you can tune into them and the obvious weight difference is another giveaway okay so that was it really um hematite yes magnetic of course uh, malachite weight and the feel other than that just don't get scammed that's all um i know everyone's got to make a living but a little bit of honesty goes a long way and well they're dirt bags aren't they if they try ripping you off there's no need of it so bear in mind these little tips and uh, hopefully you will order and get what you wanted okay all right love and light to you